everyone. This is Mark and Mr. HurricaneTracker.com. We are currently now watching Hurricane Danielle and Hurricane Frank, and this is your update for today, August 25th, 2010. Right now, we have a major concern for Bermuda because Hurricane Danielle looks like to be on a straight path to Bermuda now. We got to keep an eye on this one because what's been happening with the storm has been moving west, northwest, but gradually to the north, more to the west. And the reason I say that is because the model is forecasted to move north and go straight into Bermuda. However, it's not been going straight up north at this time. It's been continuing to move on a westward position more towards the west. And I'll show you what I mean here with the National Hurricane Center graphics. This is an archive graphics from the National Hurricane Center. And as you see here, the storm continues to move, but it moves more towards the west, but just recently moved north so it's on a northwest or west northwest position but continues to stay on in the west west path but will continue to move up north and possibly have a great impact on Bermuda so we have to keep an eye on this storm system and inform Bermuda what's happening so they can be prepared so those of you in Bermuda might want to get prepared for this storm system it's going to be a strong storm moving as a category two possibly three according to the National Hurricane Center and as of right now, it's only a category one at 992 millibars. Movement is at west northwest once again at 15 knots or 17 miles per hour. Its minimum central pressure is 982 millibars. Its maximum sustained winds are 75 knots or 85 miles per hour. So we got to be very concerned about this for Bermuda. We also now have tropical depression number seven, which will be a major concern for us in the Atlantic Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. And the reason I say that is because its movement is west at 15 knots or 17 miles per hour. And I'll show you the movement in its track here in just a second. As you see here, according to the National Hurricane Center, as I bring up the map, it does show that it's heading straight west into our area. And it's going to be a hurricane by Monday, 8 a.m. And as far as where it's going to go, we're going to have to keep watching the storm system and give you the up-to-date information to find out where it's going to hit. More models do show that it could possibly go straight into Florida or the uh, Carolinas area and possibly the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to have to keep a very close eye on this and see exactly where it heads as it continues to move on west. Right now, if you're tracking it with Mr. Hurricane Tracker, I'll go ahead and give you the information. It's located at 14.3 north, 30.8 west. Movement is again west at 15 knots or 17 miles per hour. Again, its maximum sustained winds are 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. It's already a very strong storm, and it continues to move west again. This is a correct advisory number one from the National Hurricane Center. We'll continue to keep you posted and bring the latest of this storm system. Right behind it, once again, we have more storms forming off the South African coast, which would be a major concern on what's going to happen to those storm systems as they move on through. There could be a chance that this storm does meet up with Tropical Depression 7, and that could be a very dangerous situation. We're going to have to keep an eye on that as uh, we see the storm move on off to the west with the Tropical Depression 7. So now we have Hurricane Frank, and Hurricane Frank is actually moving away, according to the National Hurricane Center, but now has a chance of reemerging into the Gulf of California. So it could be a major concern. Hurricane Frank is a Category 1 hurricane on the San Francisco scale, and its minimum central pressure is at 987 millibars. Its movement is west-northwest at 9 knots or 10 miles per hour, and its maximum sustained winds are 65 knots or 75 miles per hour. So we got to keep an eye on this for the Gulf of California because it may be a major concern for them. I'm going to bring up the... Uh, an, other information I have on the graphics here for Hurricane Frank. As you see, Hurricane Frank's going to take a major turn and go possibly straight into the uh, Gulf of California. We're going to have to continue to keep an eye on that and see what happens. Now, this storm may not become a major hurricane, but it will be a hurricane if it does hit land, and that's going to be a major concern. So we'll keep you posted, bring you the up-to-date information on what's happening. So. We would like to also see if you have any footage and what's happening in your area. So if you have anything that's going on, uh, such as he heavy wind, uh, storms, anything like that, bring that to us. We'll be appreciated on that. And we'll go ahead and post it right here on Mr. Hurricane Tracker and on the website on the front page. If you have that information, we'll be glad to post it. So once again, as you see, the Atlantic Sea is very busy right now with the storm systems, Hurricane Danielle, Tropical Depression 7, and right behind it, another set of storms coming off the South African coast. 
it can be a major concern here in the next couple of days. So please stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.com for the latest updates. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.